right. So for those of you that like to do your collaboration or file sharing through Dropbox, there is a real convenient way to move files back and forth from Studio One to Dropbox by simply adding a tab to your folder or to your browser in Studio One. So uh, the first thing you want to make sure of is that you actually have a local Dropbox folder on your computer. And you can go ahead by doing this. We're going to click on the little file explorer. And then we're going to go to the left hand side. This is for Windows and it works the same on a Mac. It's just that the file system is a little bit different. And we're going to go down and here we go. Here is the Dropbox folder that I have installed locally. So anything that I move into this folder will automatically be uploaded to Dropbox. Makes it really simple. So the folder that Rich shared with me, if I can find it here, see, there we go. It, he named it uh, for Johnny G H S T. So I want to add this folder to the browser. So in order to do that, we can close this here. And we can actually go to files, click on files, and it brings you back to the volumes part here. So we have to search for where that folder is. So we're going to go to Windows C, and then we're going to go to Users, and then we're going to go to my folder there. And if we go down, boom, there we go. There is Dropbox. So you can actually click on this and share the whole Dropbox folder. But in this case, I am just going to actually pull up and put a tab for the folder for Rich. So now I'm going to drop this down here. And his folder was called for Johnny G. There it is for Johnny G H S T. So now I'm going to click on that. And inside that folder, you can see that Rich already created a folder for all of the stems that I sent him. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to right click on for Johnny G and I'm going to say new, uh, new tab from here. Boom. There we go. So there is for Johnny G tab. So when I click on that, I can access anything that Rich puts into the folder on his end. And it takes a couple minutes to upload, but then it will update here. You can update it by simply right clicking and saying refresh. So if he's going to add anything more here, I just uploaded the raw files and you can see that Rich already put a folder up there. So that's perfect. So now I, I really would like this to say something a little bit different. So I'm going to right click on the name for this tab and I'm going to say rename and I'm going to say there we go rich wrestler share boom done now I can always access that I can go to my loops as the loops folder or I can go to the share I don't have to go through all of the nightmare of going through the whole tree in order to get there so this makes things really easy so if you're using Dropbox and you want to collaborate with somebody you can just do it this way now here's another cool thing that you can do if I right click and I say new folder I'm gonna call this test folder so now there's a new folder in this folder for Rich and I, and I can at any time uh, highlight a couple of uh, events, and I can go ahead and drag them into this folder. If you look closely at the menu, I can just do the dry stems. If I click Shift, I can highlight, uh, let's see, file stems with rendered inserts, or I can do everything as an audio loop, but you're going to usually want the first one if you're sharing audio. And if I drop them in there, you can see it takes the files, and it drops them in there. I can delete these later or do whatever I want with them. And as soon as they're in there, and if you look down here, you got the little icon. I don't think you guys can see it. Let me zoom in on it here. Oh, I can't zoom in on it. There's a little icon that's put in your tray so that you can actually see if it's uploading. And there you go. You can actually see. Oh, there it is. So if I hold my mouse over it, it says uploading five files, and it says it's going to take a minute. So perfect. If I don't want those, I can actually right click and I can say delete folder and I can just delete the folder and this is going to permanently delete that folder. See, do you want to delete it? Yep. 
oh, it's not going to because obviously he's in that folder. So you got to get with the person over there or you can go right to the Dropbox folder and delete it from there. But you can see that you have all of these different options within the browser. So very, very cool. All right. I hope that that helped. And for those of you that use Dropbox, this makes it real easy. I do have another video coming on how to do this through Sphere, which is, in all honesty, the easiest and quickest way to share files. But for those of you that don't use Sphere or don't have a Personas uh, or don't have an active Personas account, you can actually use Dropbox. So very, very cool. All right. So hopefully you guys got something out of this and I will see you in the next video as I try to find the outro. There it is. <laughs> see you later, folks.